Is there an all-in-one charger for 1S to 4S, Alejandro Alvarez? Alejandro, uh, any, any LiPo charger can charge down to 1S, but the problem is that 1S batteries are so small that if you're charging them one at a time, you spend a lot of time just sitting there cycling batteries. If you fly tiny whoops, like if you fly a, a five-inch drone or even a three-inch drone, you probably are going to have five or seven or ten batteries you're going to charge. You're going to charge them one, two, three, five, six, seven, and you're going to go out and fly. But if you've got a tiny whoop, I mean, you are constantly charging batteries. A day of flying, you could go through 30 packs, right? And so, uh, whereas a day of flying a larger quad, 10 packs on a five-inch quad is, that's like, that's a... Uh, you know, like mentally it's stressful and takes time and tiny whoops, you, you tend to go through the packs a lot faster. So with a 1S charger, you, you really want the ability to very quickly just put the pack on the charger and go and have more than one pack going at a time. And it's not that that's not true with bigger batteries. Like people have parallel charge boards so they can charge four or five or six or eight larger batteries at a time right? But the difference is that with parallel charging, uh, you have to put all the batteries on the board at the same time, start the charge cycle, and then a half hour later or however long it is, your charge cycle is done and your batteries are charged. But with tiny whoop batteries, it's often the case that you're just like, I finished and plug in. I go fly with the next one. I finished and plug in. And you want them all to kind of be charging at whatever state they're at without you having to kind of manage them. Uh, that's why, in my opinion, a lot of people use dedicated 1S chargers. Like this one right here is the V-Fly. Well, this is actually the V-Fly Tooth Store. It's a dedicated 2S charger, but there's a 1S version. It's, it's probably back there on the bench or something. Uh, and, and, and they like that. The other thing about a 1S charger is it's very easy to build a 1S charger that can just take power from USB-C or from a, just a battery bank and you just have it and you just plug it in and you carry it anywhere you need to go. It's very small and compact. Whereas the larger chargers that go up to 6S, they're a lot bigger and there's a lot of wasted space. If you're just going out to fly your tiny whoop, you don't need all that wasted space. Um, if you do want to charge your 1S batteries, With a one S, with a, a bigger 6S charger, you should consider getting something like this. This is a series charging board. This particular one is made by VFly, but there's a bunch of them. In fact, if we go to my website, fpvknowitall.com, and go to the Tiny Whoop page, uh, where is the battery chargers for Tiny Whoops? Here are suggested battery chargers for Tiny Whoops. And here are some series charging boards I've got links to. The Happy Model board, the Fractal board. I should actually add the V-Fly board. I didn't actually know it existed until now. But these are all series charging boards, and they let you charge four or six 1S batteries off of a bigger charger and make that a little bit more convenient. Okay. Great question. Thank you.